Now at 5.30, the state cracking down on banned assault weapons. The attorney general warning dealers about selling so-called copycat weapons. The AG's announcement has caused a rush on gun shops, according to owners of those businesses. As Beth Germano shows us this evening, the phone started ringing off the hook with buyers calling in concerned that these weapons will be off limits. I do have a few AR-15s in stock, yes, sir. At the Gunrunner gun store in Middleborough, the phone has been ringing off the hook. And history tells us every time somebody says about guns, something about guns, sales go skyrocketing. The gun industry doesn't get to decide what's compliant. We do. Attorney General Mara Healy putting gun dealers and manufacturers on notice that so-called copycat assault rifles are illegal under a state assault weapons ban passed in 1998. She's referring to weapons that she says have been tweaked to become so-called state compliant. If a gun's operating system is essentially the same as a banned weapon, or if the gun has component parts that are interchangeable with those of a banned weapon, it's a copy, it's a duplicate and it's illegal. Gun runner owner John Costa believes confusion has been created. It does not have a flash suppressor. He says a modified assault weapon that has only two of the original components is legal under the law. Don't you think that these manufacturers didn't check with their attorneys? Don't you think their attorneys are telling them exactly what it should be and ought to be able to sell these guns. But the call for a crackdown follows recent mass shootings, including the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, shootings on police officers in Dallas and Baton Rouge. The attorney general says in the last year alone, 10,000 assault rifles have been sold in Massachusetts despite the ban, using what she calls a loophole. Small tweaks that do nothing to limit the deadliness of the weapon. John Costa says it's not a loophole, but a right. She's trying to rewrite the regulations. That's what she's trying to do. The attorney general has sent an enforcement notice to all gun stores in Massachusetts reminding them of the regulations and the possibility of civil or criminal fines. She says she wants to work first with dealers to clear up any confusion, but hasn't ruled out inspections. Liam? Beth, thank you.